Right. I think uh, I think there was profit taking, uh, nervousness around China, yield curve, interest rates going up, lots of reasons for in the month of October, which is very often a difficult month for, for people to reassess. Um, we used the opportunity to um, trade out of stocks uh, like Apple, which held up really well, down only 3%, and into Netflix, Amazon, NVIDIA, So you think the, the sell-off was overdone oh, with a lot of these big names? Yes, very much so, very much so. Uh, we're very focused on disruptive innovation generally at ARC, and uh, we're seeing S-curve-like movements here in streaming media, so, so uh, Netflix, you know, uh, Roughly 20% of total video is uh, streaming now. Uh, that's moving into the sweet spot of the S curve. There will be, we think, continued surprises on the high side of expectations. Your decision to sell Apple, was that a call on Apple or concerns about the earnings we're going to hear from them tonight? Or is this simply just a valuation that I can make more for my money in these other stocks that have sold off sharply? It, it held up really well. There are all kinds of good reasons it should hold up really well. Mm -hmm. um, we are concerned that um, it, it was protected by the privacy concerns. You know, it has uh, a, a reputation for for guarding, safeguarding privacy. Uh, there is uh, a regulatory issue potentially, or a legal issue potentially coming up. Uh, on November 26th, the uh, Supreme Court is going to hear um, an antitrust case against uh, Apple and its uh, commissions, 15, 30% commissions on apps. Uh, so this will be the first time in a while that Apple is in the regulatory or legal spotlight. Uh, so. Uh, uh, we think there will maybe be a little changing of the guard back to those that were hit hard by these privacy concerns. So beyond that, though, you, you, would you still call Apple a sort of innovative disruptor? Because it seems to me it's kind of not really anymore. I mean, it was. But is, could you still put it in the same category as some of those other? Yes. More... Uh, we think that it has a great opportunity in the mobile payment space, which is really nowhere in the United yeah, States teeny. compared yeah. to Asia. Yeah. So it and Venmo owned by PayPal and Square are the, in the pole positions. That, yeah. that could scale very quickly when it gets going. We're also seeing it very active in the healthcare space, uh, particularly when it comes to devices, you know, monitoring heart or, mm. and collecting data. Um, and we do think services generally are rising as a share. But that is a different story. I mean, they have yeah. the services business yes. that is now this built-in runway for them. But it even is. Warren Buffett, the reason he got into the stock is he sees it as a consumer stock, not yeah. as a, a technology stock that he has yes. to deal with. Yes, but that is why I raised this um, Supreme Court case uh, that will be heard on uh, November 26th. Uh, it's just really now moving into the investors' uh, uh, sites, and so... Um, we like Apple. We think from a, a long-term point of view, we think it's it's a solid holding, mm -hmm. but it held up only down 3% versus down 20% uh, uh, for these other stocks, uh, which brought them into some interesting valuation levels. Uh, Kathy, if you think this is a buying opportunity, what what would concern you? What, what would you see anywhere along the line or here that might make you change your mind and say, okay, maybe the volatility is not over. Maybe we have a, a little more downside potential. Right. Well, we're not worried about interest rates going up because if you look at uh, Treasury bill rates relative to the Fed funds rate, uh, they are uh, at a level we haven't seen in quite a while. That means the economy is leading the Fed. The Fed is not trying to cut the economy off. What would concern us is if this... Um, trade situation spirals out of control. We don't think it will. We know both sides uh, know there's a lot to lose. And we actually think it could turn into a good news thing. These increased tariffs, mm -hmm. we could turn around and see tariffs cut around the world, which would be a big If tax there's a negotiation cut. that yes. actually comes out. and we think out. there will be. We know Larry Kudlow, Larry and Art Laffer, they, they're behind the scenes working it and uh, so I is think Peter they're Navarro. very persuasive. Yeah. So is Peter Navarro. Absolutely, absolutely. Ian, let me ask